If you're growing using the crack key method or deep water culture, you're gonna find that topping up a bucket during the grow season becomes incredibly frustrating. So what we can do is use gravity and a separate reservoir in order to keep the bucket topped up to the correct level of nutrients. Now in a crack key system, we're gonna keep the bucket topped up to around a third with the top two thirds being air roots. In deep water culture, we're gonna keep the water level topped up just below this little neck cup and then uh, we're gonna add a stone for oxidization. So both systems have a similar sort of design. It just depends on where we want the water level. When I first started out in hydroponics, I thought, well, why not just add a float valve inside the container? That way it can just hook up to our reservoir and stay automatically topped up. The problem with this is that the roots are gonna grow down and grab onto this and they'll start playing with the level which can lead to the, either the float valve being switched on, which will overflow the system in a crack key, it'll drown your plant. So what I found online is the idea to use a separate reservoir where we install the float valve to set the water level. Then we can set this bucket to be whatever level we want the water to be and use gravity to feed between the two. It sounds simple and it really is. So I'm gonna show you how it works. All I'm gonna be using is two 13 mil tub outlet ports. I've got my drill with a little stepped drill bit, which is gonna get me to the right size. And today I just wanna demonstrate this concept. So I'm gonna drill two outlet holes in each of these buckets, and then I'm gonna link them together and we're gonna see how we can adjust the water level automatically. Okay, I've drilled my holes. Now I'm just gonna put some tub outlets in. All right, so I've got this tub outlet installed. You can see the rubber valve goes on the inside and then we've just got the tub outlet. So let's connect these two together. All right, so we've connected the two buckets. So let's do an experiment. Hey, here's some water I prepared earlier. From your high school days, you should remember that if I fill this bucket, gravity will bring the water through until these two buckets are equal. Let's try it out and see what happens. Hopefully you can see this, but what is happening is the bucket here is slowly draining into this bucket and it's filling from the bottom up. That's important to know because it means that it doesn't really matter where our tub outlet is. I've drilled it just at the bottom of these tubs. But as you see, if this was a system and I had an automatic float valve in this bucket, it could automatically fill this bucket from the bottom up. So if this was a crack key, grow system, I'd simply add a float valve in this bucket and it would link through and keep this bucket filled at that one third nutrient solution level. As long as this bucket was set roughly a third up and they were level, the system would keep growing and you could just add more and more buckets to the system. And if you're interested in that, then I've made a video already about the infinite crack key system. But you get the principle. As long as you keep the level in this bucket at the right amount, this bucket can fill to the same, which will stop you disturbing the roots and also keep the roots away from that float valve. So the last thing I wanna demonstrate is what happens if you change the water level in this bucket. Say we wanna to go to a deep water culture where we wanna keep this bucket topped up more at the level just below the roots. Well, it's not a problem. All we need to do is lift this bucket up to be at the same level as we want the water in this bucket. Here's a tandy tool I've got to demonstrate this concept. Okay, so now we've got one bucket higher than the other. And obviously, more intuitively, you're gonna feel like what's gonna happen here. It seems more intuitive that it's simply gonna drain from here into this bucket. And that's exactly what is happening already. And eventually, in this case, because this bucket is slightly higher than this one, it's gonna overflow. But if you got this bucket onto a level which you wanted for your deep water culture, then you're gonna be able to maintain a constant supply of water in that deep water culture system without having to think about it, especially if this bucket is, is hooked up to an even bigger reservoir. So as you can see with the buckets in this sort of setup, this now represents more of what you would use for a deep water culture where you've got more hydroponic nutrient solution in your bucket. Well growers, I hope that helps explain how gravity can keep a crack key or deep water culture bucket topped up during the growing season without you having to disturb those roots simply using gravity. 
It also shows you how to get rid of those pesky roots from those float valves to ensure that your precious grow doesn't end up getting flooded and dying. If you wanna support the channel and help me make more of these hydroponic growing videos, then please drop me a like, hit subscribe, or even just throw a comment below showing your support. I really appreciate reading them. If you've got any questions as well, drop them in the comments too, and I'll see if I can answer them, or maybe someone else in the community will be able to help you out as well. That's all for today. Remember, plants are science. Follow the instructions and they're gonna do good things for you.